Hey everybody, welcome back to another Royal Constrictor Designs video. Uh, on this one, I want to show the, um, the Bongo Clown. So this is a project I've been working with for a couple of years now. It produced some pretty cool stuff, I think. And I just wanted to kind of uh, showcase it a little bit. So um, the Bongo Clown is both a pattern and a color mutation. So it actually alters the pattern of the clown gene and alters the color quite a bit too. And here's a clutch that I just recently hatched. And then I'm gonna show you some things that I've hatched uh, over the past uh, couple of years. So, okay, this clutch was from breeding a black pastel clown to a pastel Bongo het clown. And here's a black pastel. And here's a Bongo. You can see the color scheme overall is pretty similar. Uh, the Bongo has a busier pattern than the black pastel, um, but the overall colors are very similar. Okay, and then here is a Bongo clown. And here's a Bongo clown. I don't think either one of these have black pastel in them. I, I kind of would expect something a bit different. Uh, these look pretty much, I mean, these definitely look different from each other a little bit, but um, I, I don't think that either one of these have black pastel in them. Okay, and then I also hatched out some others. Okay, this is a pewter, so this is a pastel, black pastel. And I don't know if there's bongo in this one or not. I would think that there is, but then I hatched this one out. And this one too. So this one's definitely a, has bongo in it. This one has bongo in it, I'd say. It's weird. These are almost like, like this is the most patterned one. This one's kind of got an in-between amount of pattern. This one has almost no pattern. So it's really strange how that how that worked out and this is the first clutch like this that I've ever produced so I don't know exactly what I'm looking at here but um, yeah anyway that's the newest clutch so I get to work through the details of the genetics on these guys so anyway but these are the bongo clowns okay and then I've got a bigger bongo clown. This one hatched a little over a year ago. I'm gonna put it this way. I can show, see how they look as they get older. Let's see if I can get her. And I originally held this one back as a male, and just shows you that even someone with a lot of experience can make a mistake every once in a while. Because I, uh, she was, he was, I think, getting close to breeding size last year. And um, and I, I checked him to see if he's producing sperm plugs, and guess what? It's a girl. So having a female bongo clown sitting around isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. But you can see the, the difference. Like, look at the head. Like, there's no other clown that has a head like that. And just the overall colors, you know, just really different. I really think there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this project depending on what other genes you get in there. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm hoping to get her ready for breeding fairly soon and what I want to do with her first off is to make the super bongo clown. I think that's going to be a really wild snake. I wish she'd sit still a little bit better. Very active today. Okay, so then I added some other genes into the project. And because my male that I used for breeding to start this project was a pastel bongo het clown, I have pastel in most of the bongo clown combos that I produced. Now, the bongo gene actually darkens pastel clowns up a lot. They look quite a bit darker with a lot more blacks and just, just a darker overall scheme. So that's a hatchling. Uh, he's from the summer of 2021. And then here 
is a yearling. And I'm hoping to get him, he, well, he's actually not a yearling yet. He hatched early 2021. I've been feeding him pretty heavily. Um, I'm hoping to get him breeding for this upcoming season. You can see he looks very different from just a typical pastel clown. Really nice bright yellows, but an overall darker pattern. Okay, next up is adding another pastel jean in. This is the Super Bongo, or su not Super Bongo, Super Pastel Bongo Clone. So again, it keeps the, the pastel kind of muted. It, it still gets you the bright yellows, but you still have a lot of darker pattern to the snake. That's a lot darker than a typical Super Pastel Clone or Killer Clone. And then here is one that's got a little more size on it. This one's from earlier this year as well. Um, and this guy is actually available on my website, just so you know. So that's a super pastel bongo clown. So still a fairly dark snake considering it's it's a you know got pastel in it and it's a clown. Okay, and then here's one that does not have pastel in it. This is a lesser bongo clown. I produced a pair of these this year. Just look at that. The, the colors on the head, just the overall pattern. I just think that's really cool. And then the last one that I have, this is a pastel lesser bongo clown. This has actually changed quite a bit since it hatched too. It was almost like white when it first hatched and it's starting to get some yellows in it. Uh, head pattern is pretty much gone. It's still a really cool snake. I'd like to see this one as, well, I'm looking forward to seeing both of them as adults, but really a cool look <clears throat> so I'm working on getting a I'm working on getting a lot more uh, other genes into the bongo clown project I can't well I mean orange dream yellow belly um, you know uh, I don't know banana so, so many other different combos you know I can take the bongo clown gene and plug it into all these other projects that I have and make a lot of new combos coming up soon so anyway I will be doing that and I'll be showing those in more videos in the future um, I don't know if I have any other bongo clown clutches coming this year, but uh, in 2022, I should have a lot of new bongo clown stuff. So make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm actually in the process of adding new snakes to the website right now. Uh, I've got a, a, a bunch of breeders that I'm adding to the site, and then I've got a lot of babies. You can see I've got a ton of babies here right now. Um, I'll be adding a lot of them to the website. I'm hoping to get new babies up on the website every week for probably the next six months. So uh, yeah, you guys will see a lot of new stuff. So make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. And I'll be back again very soon with another, uh, can't talk today, another video for you.